Now is the time when you need to prepare for the next phase of the bull market. Today, guys, I am going to talk about exactly what I think is going to happen. And I'm already starting to see the signs. I'm already starting to see the cracks in the wall here. And uh, we are going to see some insane pumps towards the later parts of uh, the bull market. And I'm gonna talk you through everything I am expecting to happen here so that you can be prepared for it and also make a lot of money, hopefully. So make sure to stick around from the beginning until the end, guys. A very important video today. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you're new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. So, guys, what we can see here for Bitcoin, I want to briefly talk about Bitcoin on the shorter time frames first. So what you can see is that we are right now resting on my $68,500 orange line. So this one is holding up the Bitcoin price right now. Okay, so this is uh, all good so far. It's holding up the Bitcoin price right here and uh, Bitcoin is not breaking down from this key point. However, there's a couple of very important things we need to prepare for right now in order to make a lot of money for the later parts of the year. As you know, guys, I have been saying that I think that Bitcoin in general is going to uh, grind sideways and upwards for the majority of the summer. So for the next few weeks, potentially even months, I think that in general, Bitcoin is going to go sideways, but it's slowly going to grind upwards. However, I'm starting to see the signs right now, the signs which is going to propel us to those higher prices. So what I want to talk about first is Ethereum, because you can see that after having this massive pump right here and then being supported multiple times off of my orange line at 3,677, right now Ethereum is having another great run towards the upside here. So this is great for Ethereum. And why is this? Well, it is, of course, in anticipation of the spot Ethereum ETFs that are going to be launched. Now, this is extremely important because... There are some significant differences between the spot Ethereum ETF and the spot Bitcoin ETF. The first thing is that really the approval of the spot Ethereum ETFs came literally out of nowhere. Okay, so you just had some rumors about the Biden administration. They were pushing the SEC and the SEC did a complete 180. And from one week to another, they completely changed their mind and they approved the Ethereum ETFs. What this means is that all of these Ethereum providers or spot Ethereum providers, they didn't have as much time as with the Bitcoin ETF because the Bitcoin ETF was really anticipated to be approved. So most people were expecting the spot Bitcoin ETF to be approved for months. So these providers had months to accumulate Bitcoin. This is not the case with Ethereum because it was very surprising. It came out of a very short time span when the SEC changed their mind and they approved the spot Ethereum ETF. Now, there's another very important thing to take note of here. If we look at the speculation of the spot Bitcoin ETF being approved and you look at the price action, you can see that uh, people were buying the rumor here. People were expecting the spot Bitcoin ETF to be approved. They accumulated Bitcoin from the 16th of October until it was approved finally here in the middle of January, I believe it was. Okay, so you can see people started to pump Bitcoin here. They bought a lot of Bitcoin. Also, probably these institutions that were providing these ETFs, they also probably bought a lot of Bitcoin here. And so it pumped the price. That is very logical. It pumped it actually by 86%. And then when the ETF was approved, boom, you saw people take profit. And then you saw, just like I've been saying here, do not... Uh, overestimate the short-term effects. So this is people overestimating the short-term effects, but do not underestimate the long-term effects. And the long-term effects we can see right now, we went up and we are going to continue to go up. So this is the key difference between, between the uh, spot Bitcoin ETF and the spot Ethereum ETF, that really people have not had this much time to accumulate Ethereum. So right now, what they're going to do, they don't want to pump the price too much. So what they will do is they will slowly buy Ethereum here and we know that the Ethereum ETF is approved. So let's see, guys. Maybe you're not going to see as much profit taking right here as you saw for Bitcoin. We will see. But uh, just remember this. Even as people took profit here, it only took a little while. And then we were back at these prices. And then we pumped even harder. 
So uh, this is all good for Ethereum. And also, this is a key thing. If you look at the Bitcoin dominance, this is something that I was talking about yesterday. And you can see that the next level of support really for the Bitcoin dominance is 52%. But we are breaking some long-term trend lines. So the Bitcoin dominance right here, this is a trend line all the way to 2022. Okay, so you can see that this trend line has been holding up here. And uh, you can see that right now we are actually breaking down from this. So this is good for altcoins and this ties into what I believe is going to happen towards the later parts of this year. So after the summer, I think is the timeline for when things are going to go absolutely nuts. So Ethereum is going to be the leader. The spot Ethereum ETF, because people haven't had the opportunity to accumulate, they cannot game the system. So Ethereum is most likely going to go up in price decently. Okay, Ethereum is going to see some nice gains, which is going to lift altcoins in general. And one thing we know is that Bitcoin doesn't really attract retail anymore. Okay, Bitcoin could attract retail in the past cycle, or in 2017. Now Bitcoin is too big. I think that Bitcoin is going to go up to $150,000 this cycle, which is only a little bit more than a 2x from here. Okay, that is not going to blow people's minds, but altcoins are going to blow people's minds. In fact, the altcoins that we have been talking about, that we have been accumulating, many of them have done 10, 20, 50x already in this cycle. Okay, so this is extremely important to take note of because as Ethereum goes up, as altcoins goes up, and you can see the trend line is still, I mean, on the daily time frame, we're still going down here. And if this continues, then it's going to bring a lot of retail people, which is going to bring that FOMO, which is going to bring those insane pumps. And then we can all just at the top, all take profit. And then we can call it a day and wait for the next massive opportunities. Obviously, uh, in the middle of all of this, I will continue to update you. And in the middle of this, we will continue to use my trading strategies and everything, which is making a lot of money as it is. But uh, first things first, this is what I believe is going to happen. And this is also very significant when it comes to the traditional markets because the traditional markets are right now on the weekly time frame right below my uh, very important trend line right here my orange line at 5333 now we need to break through this point this is on the weekly time frame if we can break through this point then that is further going to solidify now remember weekly time frame so as i'm expecting bitcoin to go sideways but ethereum to gain some momentum during the summer I think that the traditional markets, if we can break through this, not necessarily very quickly, but at least break through this and then continue towards the upside, that brings that kind of certainty to the markets overall, which is going to be very, very good for the overall liquidity in the markets. So that is all fantastic. We need to break through this. If we see a rejection, that is going to dampen a little bit the uh, thesis that I have right here that we're going to see towards uh, yeah, late summer or after the summer, you're gonna see things really start to pick up. But uh, we need to see the traditional markets break through this point. Also, what solidifies this thesis is that if you look at what the market is expecting, so during the next meeting, the market is expecting the Fed to keep the rates where they are. But if you look at the 18th of December, so the end of this year, you can see that the market is expecting us to have only one rate cut. So right now we are at 5.5% uh, in uh, interest rates uh, and the market is expect expecting 5.25. Um, so only one rate cut. Now, if you looked at these statistics uh, or these expectations at the beginning of this year, the market was expecting us to have already like three, four rate cuts. So the market is really pessimistic. The market is not really expecting a lot of rate cuts. So when the Fed starts to cut rates, the market is going to be surprised, which, again, brings that FOMO, which is going to pump all of these assets. Now, finally, what I wanted to say as well. This is a perfect cocktail of different things coming together. All of these things are essentially coming together here, and I do think that they are going to play out. But if they do not, let's say uh, we see the traditional markets have a massive drop. Let's say we have some significant event, a bad event. That is obviously, just like I said, it's going to dampen this thesis as, uh, a little bit it's gonna uh, take away a little bit from the probabilities however i do think there's more likely that we're gonna see the opposite meaning we're gonna see a massive liquidity event just like you saw in the uh, pandemic year when you saw a lot of money printing something like this I'm, I'm not sure what it is gonna be but i do think this year there's gonna be one event that is gonna bring a lot of liquidity back to the market 
So uh, that is obviously also going to help and that is going to be the final kind of massive thing which is going to be part of that cocktail which is going to lead into all of us making insane gains during the rest of this cycle. Now for this week what you need to pay attention to there's a couple of things the most important one being on Friday PCE inflation for April which is going to confirm whether the uh, yeah, inflation is actually starting to become a problem or not. Let's see. Uh, what Arthur says here is that uh, we're going to see a $4.5,000 Ethereum once the spot Ethereum goes live. So we will see about that. And also crypto is becoming mainstream, guys. 20% of the US adult population own crypto in 2023. And this is why you're seeing Joe Biden, you're seeing Donald Trump. This is a very important thing, actually, to get those 20% of these uh, crypto uh, yeah, natives so that is all good. Everything is lining up, guys. We will see if this thesis is going to play out or not. Let me know in the comment section if you think so or not. And in the meantime, guys, make sure to prepare for this by claiming the best deposit bonuses available out there. You get on Bybit $30,000 by using this link at the top of the description. You get $60,000 by using this link on OKX and up to $40,000 on BitCat. If you want to use my trading strategies, First, sign up using this link right here in OKX, and then with one click, you can use this one. So that is what I got for you, really. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.